Hello, chemistry students. Today, we will be performing our acetaminophen experiment. In this experiment, we will synthesize acetaminophen by treating P-aminophenol and amine with acetic anhydride. This will form acetaminophen, the amide. We will then test the purity of our acetaminophen by performing a melting point determination. We will also obtain an IR spectrum. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is weigh out approximately 0.15 grams of P-aminophenol and transfer to a five milliliter conical vial. The mass of P-aminophenol that we will be using is 0.1515 grams. We've transferred our P-aminophenol to our five milliliter conical vial. We're next going to add 450 microliters of deionized water and 165 microliters of acetic anhydride to the P-aminophenol in our five milliliter conical vial. We will also add a spin vein to our conical vial. We have attached a water-cooled condenser to our five mil conical vial with our reaction mixture. We will now heat the reaction mixture with an aluminum block at about 120 degrees Celsius and stir gently. After the solid has dissolved, we will heat the mixture for an additional 20 minutes to complete the reaction. Our reaction mixture has now heated for an additional 20 minutes after the solid had dissolved. So we will now remove the vial from the heat. After the vial has cooled to the touch, we're going to detach it from our water-cooled condenser. And we're going to remove the spin vane with forceps and rinse the spin vein with several drops of warm deionized water back into the conical vial. We'll then place our conical vial in a 50 milliliter beaker and allow it to cool to room temperature. Once the vial has cooled to room temperature, we will place the vial for about 10 minutes in an ice water bath to complete crystallization. After crystallization has completed, we will collect our crystals by vacuum filtration on a Hirsch funnel. We first need to moisten our filter paper with a few drops of ice cold deionized water. We will also use the ice cold deionized water to aid us in the transfer of our crystals to the Hirsch funnel and to wash our crystals. We will then allow air to be drawn through our crystals for an additional five to 10 minutes to aid in the drying of the crystals. While our crude acetaminophen crystals continue to air dry, we need to pre-weigh a watch glass. The mass of our pre-weighed watch glass is 35.3580 grams. We now need to collect our crude acetaminophen crystals on our pre-weighed watch glass. This is what our crude acetaminophen crystals look like. We next need to determine the mass of our crude product. We'll set aside a small amount of our crude product for melting point determination and color comparison with our final product. The mass of our pre-weighed watch glass and our crude acetaminophen product is 35.5162 grams. We are next going to decolorize our crude product. To do this, we're going to add 0.2 grams of sodium dithionite 
and 1.5 milliliters of deionized water to a five milliliter conical vial. The mass of sodium dithionite that we will be using is 0 0.2030 grams. We will next dissolve our sodium dithionite with 1.5 milliliters of deionized water. After dissolving our sodium dithionite in the water, we will transfer our crude acetaminophen product to the five milliliter conical vial and heat at 100 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes with occasional stirring. After heating for 15 minutes, we need to re-precipitate the decolorized acetaminophen by placing the five milliliter conical vial in an ice water bath. After our acetaminophen has re-precipitated, we will collect our purified acetaminophen crystals by vacuum filtration on a Hirsch funnel. While our acetaminophen continues to dry, we need to pre-weigh a watch glass. The mass of our pre-weighed watch glass is 35.2569 grams. We now need to collect our decolored acetaminophen crystals on our pre-weighed watch glass. The mass of our pre-weighed watch glass and decolored acetaminophen crystals is 35.3897 grams. This is the color of the purified acetaminophen crystals compared to the crude product. We will next perform a microscale recrystallization of our decolored acetaminophen product by placing the product in a Craig tube and using a 50% water, 50% methanol solution as our solvent. After the Craig tube has cooled to room temperature, we will complete crystallization by placing the Craig tube in an ice water bath. After crystallization has completed, we will next collect our purified acetaminophen crystals from our Craig tube using centrifugation. While our Craig tube is centrifuging, we need to pre-weigh a watch glass. The mass of our pre-weighed watch glass is 35.4439 grams. We next need to collect the crystals from our Craig tube onto our pre-weighed watch glass. We'll now determine the mass of our pre-weighed watch glass and our purified acetaminophen. The mass of our pre-weighed watch glass plus our purified acetaminophen final product is 35.5632 grams.
We will now determine the melting points of our crude acetaminophen and our purified acetaminophen final product. Okay, students, you can now determine our percent yield of acetaminophen. This concludes our acetaminophen experiment. Thank you for joining me for this laboratory.